What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Software Inc. This is episode number three and today is kind of special because so far we've been working out of this nice little office here and we've been leasing out different buildings. Are we? Yeah, we've been leasing uh, them for very cheap. But uh, this, is, this is a decent way to live, but we have enough money now that we can actually go and build our own building, which is crazy. We can build it up and have every, anything that we want in there and have it as big as we want and that's exactly what we're going to do because I find that the game is a lot more creative once you actually have to manage how big your building is and and uh, where you put people and that sort of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, it's been fun working out with or working with the new apartment style um, or the office style thing. But at this point we're we have enough money that we, we can move out. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna get an empty plot uh, in the in a town. Uh, we're not gonna go with a city quite yet. Uh, maybe eventually we'll move to the city, but going going off of like a kind of a, a, um, a chronological, kind of uh, lore here. Our company started off in a little a little office building and then it moved to its own different plot or its own separate plot in the town. And it moved to the town because plots in the town are typically cheap, whereas plots in the city tend to be kind of expensive. So we're gonna go in town, temperate climate, and uh, here's the little generation string if you guys wanna be in the same place that I am. So you can copy that down if you want. But here we go. Let's hit that okay button. It's going to put us in a completely empty area. Well, okay, it's not empty. It's got a bunch of houses here, but uh, but it is empty. Or it is empty as far as our little plot is concerned. So if you go into build, that's our plot. Now, personally, I would like to uh, expand early on because I think we need a little bit more room than this. This is a starter amount of room. We, we're rich enough at this point that we can build a bigger office. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy up a couple of these plots. And I'm going to feel kind of bad because in a city, when you buy up plots, you're buying up office space. But in a town, when you're buying up plots, you're buying up like people's houses and stuff. So it's not great. But And they are kind of pricey. You can see this one right here is going to cost me $148,000. But uh, in order to make myself feel better, let's just assume that all of these people are willingly trying to sell their plots and they just can't find a buyer. So I'm the savior coming in to actually buy their plots. So that's that's what we're assuming here. These guys all want to go and live somewhere else. <laughs> so here comes Andrew to save the day. We're going to buy that plot right there and we're going to buy this plot right here and it immediately demolishes their house. You'll see that. Uh, now here's a thing. Look how expensive this one is right here. I could pay it over, like I could pay it later. But uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to buy this one quite yet. It's a bit expensive, uh, and, and I don't think we honestly need it. We've got all this plot right here. So let's go out of our plot menu here, and uh, you'll see that this is now our space. So we're going to build our office, and we're going to do kind of an interesting office style. I want to work with a modular kind of office. So we're going to start with, uh, I want to start with a lobby, a coding room, and a marketing room, plus a break room and a bathroom, because those are very important. Uh, just one of each, and eventually when we need more coding rooms, we can kind of build on to the building later after we buy this plot and that sort of thing. So we're going to start with, uh, this will be, it'll, it'll face this way. How about that? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it'll, it'll face this way. How about that? So we're going to start with, it'll face this way and go that way. So that's how we're going to do things. Uh, we're going to start with our room for, um, for the lobby. So let's do, we're going to do something like this four area we're gonna go kind of like that and then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go all the way over how about 20 and then we're gonna come back like this and we're gonna go all the way back like that so that should be enough room it's if it's not we'll add on a little bit right there so we're gonna get a door right here this is going to be our entrance door it's gonna be like a nice little door like that and we're going to create our lobby so let's go ahead and do that. Our lobby is going to be right here. So that's going to be our lobby. That's where people will chill uh, when they're while they're waiting for certain things. And we're going to have a hallway coming down this way. So big, a big hallway like that. And these are going to be the rooms that are going to to be the for the company. So if we want to expand, we can either expand this way from this hallway, or we can expand this way from the same hallway. Uh, and also, you can expand upward as well. That's a thing. But for now, and downward actually, you can make a basement. So, which we will probably end up doing. But for now, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be good. Okay, so that's our reception. You're gonna come into this hallway and you'll come all the way down. So first, I think we're going to start with our break room slash bathroom. So our break room is going to be uh, right here. 
there's breaks and our bathroom is going to be right there it's kind of a big bathroom but whatever it'll be fine uh so there we go we're gonna get rooms now for our coding how, how much space do we have here let's see can we count six plus six that's 12. okay so we'll cut right down the middle what do we want a coding room a marketing room what else do we want a coding room a marketing room and is that it coding and marketing well we can have two coding rooms how about that let's have two two teams of coding so back up here we're going to go with uh two teams of coding one one two three four like right here and one one two three four right here and this will be like a marketing room or a coding room like one of those is either so let's go ahead here and we're going to get our double door oh you know what here's what we'll do boom like that that's leading into the hallway so there's no actual uh, kind of door going in there you can just go in that way we'll do the same thing right here leading into our break room and then we'll do the same thing uh, right here with a similar thing going into the break room so if you're in this room you can just easily head over into the break room uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to add some doors here so we're going to go with a standard sliding door uh, into these rooms we could go with a double sliding door, but nah, let's go with the standard sliding door here. So here's one, here's two, and the other one will throw it right here. So there we go, we've got our sliding doors, and I think we're going to make this a coding room, actually. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I've, I've had a second thought. Let's delete this. We're going to have an actual sliding door going into there, and the reason I, I say that is because... The people who are working in here don't want to be distracted by the people who are having fun in here. And the people who are having fun in here don't want to be distracted by the people who are working in there. So that sort of thing. So I think that'll be fine. Let's get a standard door going into our bathroom. It's going to, for now, be a unisex bathroom. So, um, yeah. Because I don't think the game supports uh, multiple bathrooms for the different sexes. So I think it'll be fine. Okay, let's do some windows. We're going to go with... A standard window for each of these if each of these rooms just like this and then on this side we'll do something a little bit different we'll go one two we'll, we'll expand the window size and we'll do the same thing from this size this side like that and then here well we won't do a window right there for now we'll do let's do big windows for this one so we'll do something like this Oops, messed that one up right there. Let's back that up and get it again. There we go. So if you drag it, it does this cool window thing that we're doing. So I think that's going to be fine. Uh, and then finally, we're going to have... Here, you know what? On the ends here, we're just going to have a big window. Because I think that looks pretty decent. And then right here in the, in the lobby, we'll have one of those once we get it to look right. That looks good. Okay, there we go. We've got everything set up. Now it's time to start furnishing the building. Uh, did, did we miss anything? Windows, doors? No, we're good. Okay, time to start furnishing the building. This is where things get a little bit fun here. So we're going to start with a couch in the this area. So let's start with one couch, I think we'll be fine. Uh, we're going to get one of these things. A side table is what it's called. And it just goes beside a, a couch like this. Uh, and then we're going to grab some. I don't know if that's a mod, by the way. Because I, I turned off all my mods, but uh, but at the same time, the creator might have um, added that. So I'm not entirely sure. The creator. <laughs> Sounds like God. Uh, the creator might have added that. There we go. A little, little bit of a, a uh, reception area. Can we move that? I don't know how to move things, by the way. Oh, <laughs> that's how. So a little bit of a reception area. That's where reception would stand. People would chill at the, at the thing. And when they want to talk to reception, they'd go up there. Uh, that's a cool looking little tablet thing, I guess. So we're going to have to hire a receptionist to actually work that. Now let's go on to the bathroom. We'll do, um, how do we want to do this? Let's go back into build mode because I think we have to make individual stalls. So let's make stalls like this. One, two, three, four. We'll get four stalls. I can't get that one set up. Let's do this. There we go. Four stalls. Uh, let's go back to furnish and we can throw in the toilet. So where's the toilet? There it is. The toilet. Face that way. And uh, I should have actually held shift there to make multiple. 
There's one, two, three. There we go. We got four total. Uh, let's get a light up top. Two, three, four. And we'll have another light just standing in the middle of this room. Like that. Uh, we need doors on each of those, so let's go back into build mode here. We're going to grab ourselves a standard door. That's not a door. That's a door. One, two, three, four. Awesome. And now... Do we have sinks in this game? I don't think there are actually sinks in the game. So if we go to uh, restroom, bathroom. Yeah, I don't. There, there are no sinks in the game, unfortunately. So we can't give them sinks. But let's just imagine that there are sinks there and they can wash their hands and everything. Okay, break room time. Let's work on that because that seems like it'll be quite a bit fun. Here's the here's the stuff that we can throw in. We're going to first start with a couch. Now, eventually, we're going to, once we get TVs here, which we get in 1995, we're going to move around the couch uh, facing the other direction. We'll have a TV right there. But for now, the couch is just a nice area. You can chill. We're going to have a, uh, let's go with a vending machine facing this direction. We're going to have a water facing this direction, let's just say. Oops, someone's calling me. Hang on. Let me, let me turn that off. There we go. You guys ever get phone calls from people that you know are like going to scam you if you answer the phone call? Like that was a person with um, the first, the same first three letters in the phone number as my phone. Every time I get those calls, telemarketers, every single time. Uh, so, or not telemarketers, but scammers who are like, do you want to uh, increase your, I don't know, like credit card or something? I don't know. Crazy stuff. Let's have the grid here so we can place this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we're going to throw a lamp in here for some warmer light. Let's move that, actually. I want to move it right back there. Okay, you know what? Let's let's make the grid normal again here. And then let's move that again so it's, it's not clipping through the stuff. Okay, finally, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple desks. And we're adding desks for a specific reason. We want them uh, right here because you can put things on top of desks in this game. So, oh, that's not accessible? Really? Okay, hang on. Let me let me sort this out. Where can I put you so that you're accessible? I mean, I could delete this desk. Now you're... Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we're going to give them a couple things. Let's see. A plant will increase the environment, but we could just as easily do that with a bookshelf. Okay, you're still accessible. Okay, that works. That actually worked out. What else do we want to add here? <laughs> we could put computers and <laughs> access your email on those. Do we want one of these? We could throw one right there. A little heater. Don't don't let your knees hit that heater now. This thing's gonna be hot. Uh, what else do we want in a break room? Let's yeah, let, that that'll be fine. Get a, one of those right there. We'll get a clock as well. I don't know what a clock does. Increases environment and effectiveness. Uh, finally, we can get some espresso. I think is what we're gonna get. An espresso machine here. Uh, it has a lot of noise, but in increases the environment quite a bit, and it's a very high quality. So we're gonna get an espresso machine right there. And we're going to get, we don't need a serving tray. I've never actually done this before, but you can actually make a cook, like a cooking, like a kitchen in your place. Isn't that crazy? I think that's a little bit crazy, but that's like Google level stuff right there. We have one more area that we can put something. Do we want to put like another type of coffee machine? I don't know. Put a phone? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what we want to put there. Well, let's just put a plant or something for now. And eventually we'll maybe put something else there. Okay, so that's our little break room. You can just kind of come in and you can chill. It's you can Only two people can be supported in this room because there's only one uh, thing right there. Now let's go ahead and do coding room one, which we're going to say this is going to be coding room one. So we're going to go and do... Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to get some desks. Boom. Uh, boom. I like to separate the coders quite a bit because I feel like that will help their productivity. I'm not entirely sure if that's how that works, but we're going to we're going to do that. So, boom. Uh, let's do boom, boom, like that. And let's see how we can kind of set these guys up here. Set one up like that. One like that, one like that, one like that. Uh, we're going to have separators here. So, we're going to have separation, separation. And we're going to do, yeah, that'll be separated right there. Something like that. We'll do this as well. Oops. Actually, let's move this one. Or delete it all together, actually. 
and then we'll do that like that and like that as well okay and this design is kind of based off of what i've seen before in actual offices so they typically have kind of a cool little design like this there we go okay and now what what do we want to do on this side can we add some stuff here i mean i don't know if we'll be able to but we can definitely like add a couple desks so if we do something like this like that lots of this is and that's in this commentary that's how that's how i do things sometimes when in in games like this that are a lot of like there's a lot of creativity uh there's a lot of a lot of times where i don't know what to say or i'm like concentrating on something so that's that's what that comes from oops i messed that one up let's remove this remove these and we'll do yeah that right there that'll work let's add a couple of these and a couple chairs as well. well we'll throw we'll give them the comfy chairs the really nice ones it's got quite high durability too but it's expensive but uh, we can afford them especially for our coders because I've been giving them these things. All right. And you might think that it takes quite a while to, to start or to actually make these rooms. And it does, but it's good because once, we, once we're once we done uh, kind of setting up our building, we'll be pretty much set to start uh, rapidly producing software. I want to put you there. Yeah, I'll put you right there. I will put you right here. And I did forget a couple of desks as well, so let's throw those right there. And there we go. Awesome. Now I need to give them some computers. Oops, that one's facing the wrong way. Totally my fault there. Make sure to face them all the right way. You don't want to be working on a computer backwards. Trust me. What's wrong here? Not enough ventilation? Okay, well, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. You get messages like this where it's like, oh, no, you don't have enough ventilation. But uh, it's okay. We're going to add one of these things right here because it increases skill. We're going to add a clock as well because it increases uh, productivity, I believe. So where is our clock? There it is. I just add a clock so anywhere really works. There we go. We're going to add, you, you need ventilation. So I think we're going to add a fan and I think that'll fix things. So there's a fan. Uh, staff is unable to reach this. Okay, sometimes that happens when the fan is right directly above something. So what you can do is you can go into this and decrease the grid size once again like we did earlier. And there we go, the fan is reachable. So hopefully add ventilation and remembers, remember windows leak. Well, it's not like we have tons of windows. <laughs> okay, well, you know what we might do? We might just add an air conditioning unit. Which is right here. An AC unit. Yeah, why not? Where can I put it? I can put it right there. Staff is unable to reach this. Okay. Let's add the AC unit right somewhere else, like here. Can I not? Can't put it there? Okay, we'll put it right there. AC unit, does that help you out? No, not really. Not enough ventilation for the summer days. Okay, you know what, we'll just add a bunch of fans. How about that? Let's move this one as well. Actually, let's remove that one. Not enough ventilation still. Okay, whatever. It's fine. We don't need that ventilation. Let's just move on to the next room and we'll be good. I, I should actually just copy this whole setup here. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. What? I don't think I can just... Yeah, it'll take forever for me to copy that room over. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll just do the same thing, kind of. So we'll go... Let's change up the grid size again. Let's uh let's do something a little bit different with this room. We'll we'll make the desks a little closer this time. So we'll have one, two. So those guys are gonna be really close to each other. Three. Uh, let's have you guys like back to back kind of. We'll have another setup like that there, and you guys working like that and like that. Okay. Now let's add some of this stuff. Actually, I realize you're not gonna be able to get to your desks, are you? Okay, well, let's remove this one. 
and let's put put some chairs in front of these so we make sure that we know exactly how much space we have. So chair, 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 one right there as well. Uh, then these ones are going to be about like that. There we go. You face that way, you face this way, awesome. You face that way, and that's perfect. Okay, so how many desks do we have here? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whereas here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have one more desk in this area here. And we're going to see how they perform once we actually start doing stuff. We'll see if uh, team A or team B is better. We'll fix that in a second. There we go. At, give them all computers. And it really becomes fun once you get to 1990, where you get to get this computer. You have to replace all your computers. Okay. Not enough heating for winter. This one has not enough ventilation for summer. This one has not enough heating for winter. Uh, heating is easy, though. We can just throw these pretty much everywhere. So there we go. Let's add a couple of these in as well. Two. Put that one right there. I don't know if you'll be able to get through there. Put that right there. Okay. Working pretty well here. Let's cover that up right there. Cover this up and cover that right there. So that's looking pretty good for that little area right there. We've, and heating's fine now, so they're not worried anymore. You don't have not enough vent. You don't have enough ventilation. Should I add just a heating unit in here as well? We can add one right there. And hopefully you guys can still get by into your area. Okay, so let's add a clock here for productivity. Throw it right there. Let's add a bookshelf. We don't have any space for a bookshelf. Yeah, we do. Awesome. And let's add a photo. And we'll add one here as well. Let's remove that, actually. Did not mean to put it directly over someone's desk. Okay, that's looking good. So we have core team, core two, and now we need a marketing team. So for marketing, how much money do we still have? We have plenty. For a marketing team, it's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna go like boom, 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 boom. Like that, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I like to kind of put marketing like this because they don't really need to be separated that much, uh, but we'll give them little dividers. And this is what you kind of imagine if you if you kind of imagine a marketing team. Uh, this is kind of what you would think of here. So give them desks or yeah chairs. Awesome. And we're going to also give them computers with phones. So here's a computer. And then we'll give them phones in a second. Okay. And we'll do, let's do phones. Phones are going to help with their, uh, their marketing skill. Uh, increases, you'll see right here. Uh, the green marketer skill increases, so phones are good. Uh, what's the problem here? Not enough heating. There's a lot of computers over overcrowded rooms can distract employees i think you guys are gonna be fine don't worry okay add one of these for skill we'll add a uh this for productivity and that should be good what do you need heating yeah you need heating okay well heating's easy so not worried about that and there we go there's a little heater that's a lot of people in the room. Okay, so that's fine. That is going to be good. Let's let's get the simulation running so we can see what we've got to work with here. So let's, it took a long time to set this up, but it's finally kind of there. Let's let our people get back to work. And eventually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a dedicated art room and a dedicated uh, music room or that sort of thing. But currently, we're just going to have two coding rooms. Whoops. I just went below a level. How do I go back up a level? There we go. Uh, can I dedicate these rooms to certain groups? Let's see. I think there's a way. Switch team. This is going to be our core team. And this is going to be our marketing team. So switch team, marketing team. And I remember this didn't work very well last time. Uh, because people would just wander into other rooms. But let's speed things up here and see what happens. Our things are not meeting physical demands. So let's go ahead and add some uh, stuff for them. Let's print some copies. So we'll order copies here. Uh, we're going to order... This is Canvas 2D. Jesus, it sold a lot of copies. Uh, 100,000, I guess. That should pretty much have it forever. 
right. This has sold 44,000 and it needs more, so let's do 40,000. Okay. And let's see our people work. Okay, here we go. So these are our marketing dudes, right? So marketing, marketing, uh, marketing. Awesome. So you guys are all the marketing people. Uh, and you are the coders. You guys are the core. Yeah. Okay, so they're in the right spot. Let's speed things up and see how things uh, work. You guys are bored because you don't have anything to do, but uh, during the end of the day, you will have stuff to do, so no worries. Let's just wait for the end of the day and see how much money we make on our stuff. Is someone still at work? Okay, we made... We're already losing demand. Are we already not selling enough of that? Okay, hang on. Alpine Adventures, order copies. Uh, it says it still has some in stock, but let's go here. We'll do 100,000 just because we have the money, right? So we'll order 100,000. That should be good. Now, what we're going to do right, right quick, just before we end the episode, because this episode is all about uh, building this stuff here. We're going to add another small room. Or should I add it onto one of these existing rooms? Hmm. I wonder. Let's go into here. Let's go into build mode. Uh, what I want to add is a little server room so we can start doing server hosting. We'll hire a receptionist and we can start uh, doing that sort of thing. And next episode, we'll focus on server hosting and all that jazz. But for now, let's make a little, a little server room. And honestly, I kind of want to... Here's what we'll do. Let's delete this. Uh, we'll add... A little area here so there oh we're out of space aren't we okay well how big is this this is only one okay that's fine it'll work so we'll do this and that like that awesome this and this we want you guys to merge so we're gonna merge those rooms right there and we're gonna throw in a little elevator one and two these cost a thousand in real life, I think elevators are more expensive, but but whatever. Let's go down a floor. Uh, where are our elevators? That's our elevator. So if we go down a floor, click elevator, and then go down a floor, well, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it tells us. So right here, these are our two elevators. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a server room, just a small one. Nothing to be crazy about, but It'll be a nice little area. Okay, so we're gonna merge these two rooms. One, two. We're gonna go with a quick little merge and we're gonna add elevators there as well. So I think what this does is it adds the elevator shaft and then the elevators just go through it pretty much. So technically we gotta add more elevators here and everything would be good. But just a small server room here. We're gonna go with a quick little, uh, we're gonna go with some tables. So boom, boom, and uh, maybe boom, boom. Just a couple tables. And the reason we're adding tables here is because uh, the servers that we're going to be getting are, they, they, they can only go on a table. You'll see that in a second. So there's our lights. Now let's get our servers. See, small servers are the only ones we can get until 1985 when we can get medium servers. And the tower servers are the ones that go on the ground, but you can't get those until 1990. So let's throw these servers down here. We're gonna put, we're gonna get quite a few of them actually. They're, they're pretty cheap and we have the money, so why not? And this is going to get us kind of launched into our server hosting business. So these are the kind of servers we have today. Actually, we have, we have bigger ones, but uh, but yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay, so let's go up a floor. We're going to hire a receptionist here. So let's go into our uh, hire employees. We're going to hire... No, not that. Go into manage staff. We're going to hire a receptionist. It's going to cost us 2500 uh, $2, per month, but I think it's going to be fine. Eventually, we're going to have to hire IT support and cleaning, but for now, we can just call cleaning every once in a while, and they'll come by and clean out the, the rooms. But I'd like to get them at least like a room for them to stay in before we actually go and call them, or before we actually go and hire them. So let's speed things up here. And I think our reception is going to start tomorrow. We'll see. Speed things up. Just waiting for the day to end here. You guys are still working on bug bug support for Canvas 2D and for Alpine Adventures. Uh, we should start market, uh, stop marketing Canvas 2D. Even though it's making us lots of money still, uh, we're, we're going to stop marketing it because, well, I, I mean, why, why not? I mean, we should probably keep marketing it, honestly. Okay, so here's our receptionist going to come in. 
There we go. So that's our receptionist. I call him Frank. And uh, his name's not actually Frank. It's Ruby. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's basically going to sit there until people come up. And when people come up, they will start... Ooh, I can hear them. Oh my god. Such a riveting conversation. Once they actually come up here, we can actually start to uh, do deals here. I believe it's deals. Or maybe it's development servers. We've got all these servers. Oh, I think we have to actually go and link them, which we'll, we'll do that. No worries. Uh, but something here can do that. Let's do a contract work. Why not? To end the episode, we'll do a contract work, uh, which is going to be instant, by the way. We're just going to go with the most expensive one uh, right here. Since we have so many people, it's going to be pretty fast. So let's go here. We'll accept the work. And let's speed things up. It's actually not going very fast. Oh, because we don't actually have that many people. We only have four. Whatever. It'll be fine. We'll get it done. Get her done. So here we go. Finishing up the thing. And all of our people went home. Great. Canvas 2D does not meet demand. Okay, let's go over to Canvas 2D. And didn't we order 100,000 copies here? Yes, we did. Let's order 200,000. And let's start marketing it again, I guess. I mean, budget of 10,000. Why not? Speed things up. Develop that. And we're going to wait until this gets all the way up. See, all of our coders are now here, and it's going up fast. Let's promote it, start doing some bug fixes here. And three, two, one, release. Just like that. It, outstanding quality. Awesome. Good job. You guys done good. Uh, you guys all want a raise? Yes, we will. All right, well, that was this episode. We spent pretty much the whole episode building our new office. Next episode, we'll go about uh, either making another Canvas application or we'll look at research, but I don't think research comes in until later. Or we'll make another uh, video game. So what do you guys want to see? Put that down in the comments. If you like the video, hit that like button. Put, your, uh, put any of your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in episode number four.